Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, this is what we'll be creating and it's sort of a line transition into text and really what I was trying to do is I was trying to take sort of like these two separate lines and mesh them together to form our text and I didn't really want to do anything complex or at least have a complex workflow. So, you know, I found this one great effect uh, called Scribble and we will be able to do this effect very quickly so this is going to be a really quick tutorial and I think it's going to be an awesome transition for doing some sort of quirky text transitions. So let's go ahead and get into this and create some awesome stuff. So let's go here and let's type in our text, which I should have already done. I'll just call it transition. But you can title it whatever. And of course, choose uh, you know your text style right here, right now, because a little bit later, it'll be a little bit more tedious to change this. But it is very quick to set this up. So let's go ahead and center this all up for us. Go to the line tab. There we are. Let's go to our text layer right here. And let's right click it and click on create mask from text. So now After Effects has broken our text into the mask layer. Let's go up to Effect, Generate, Scribble. And under Scribble, let's go ahead and set this to All Mask Using Modes. So let's set the wiggle type to Static so none of these lines move. And let me go ahead and turn off the mask so we can see what we're doing. And let's go ahead and go to the angle here. And as you can see, we can kind of change what direction our strokes will take place in. And we can go here to the stroke width and maybe we can increase this by a little bit, maybe to like 3.6 or something. And really where we're going to do most of this work here is underneath the stroke options. So let's go ahead and open that. Let's set the curviness to 0% and the curviness variation to 0%. And let's go here to the spacing and let's set this to like, you know, 17 or 16 points. And that's going to kind of create sort of less lines. So it's going to keep it a little bit clean. And let's go ahead to the spacing variation. And let's maybe set that to 0. And let's go to the path overlap and this is really where we're going to go ahead and really increase this because this isn't going to create the depth in our text here or the line shall I say. So maybe we'll keep it at like you know 126 and maybe we'll go to the path variation overlap and we'll set that to zero as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe this. So let's go ahead and click the stopwatch for path overlap. Let's go to like say one second or whatever works best for you and let's set this 126 to zero. So now we'll have our uh, animation in here. And as you can see, it'll basically just close up. So it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and change the color. You can change it to whatever works for you, whatever is in your palette. Maybe I'll do this purple. It looks terrible in my background, but maybe make it a little bit lighter. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes here. And let's go ahead and move these over a little bit. Maybe we'll move these over like the first keyframe in 12 seconds. And let's go ahead and click the stopwatch for start. And let's go to the beginning of our timeline here and let's set the start to 100%. Now this is extra, you don't have to do this part, but I'm doing, doing it just to transition on these lines. So once this is done, let's go ahead and let's duplicate this layer by going up to Edit, Duplicate, make sure the layer is selected. And let's go here and change the color to another sort of cool color, maybe we'll do like a light green or something. And let's go ahead and go back into the stroke options here. And let's go ahead and maybe increase the spacing or something. So now we'll kind of have like this nice little offset here. And as you can see, it'll kind of transition into our text. Now, uh, if, you, if you like the style, you can keep it here, but I want to show you guys how you can pop up your actual legitimate text. So what we're gonna do, let's go back to our text layer here. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. And what we're gonna do is say, go here to like uh, one second and 12 frames. We'll hit T on our keyboard for opacity. Let's click the stopwatch for opacity. And let's go ahead and maybe go back a few frames and set the opacity to 0%. So now the text will completely transition on and things are looking just fine. Maybe we'll go ahead and kind of move this keyframe out just by a little bit. And let's go ahead and select both of our transition layers here. Hit T on our keyboard for opacity for those layers. Click the stopwatch and let's go ahead and line these up here and set these to 0%. And let's just grab this last opacity keyframe for our text here and just move it over by like a couple of frames. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And as you can see, this was a pretty easy tutorial to follow along with. So I hope you guys found some value to apply this to your future projects. And if, as always, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials. And please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And if you guys haven't yet, please check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.